Hey guys, what's up? It is Everything Coding, and um, first, before we start the video, I just want to apologize for the lack of videos. School has finally been, uh, you know, out, so I can be making more videos. But before I also get into the video, I want to say that I have a two-week vacation coming up, so I don't know just yet if I'm going to pre-record a bunch of videos and then post them or if I'm just going to wait the two weeks and then come back and then start putting out videos but anyway to the HTML and CSS we are going to be talking about aligning text today in CSS so <clears throat> sorry about that so um, we have our normal HTML file right here and I'm just going to make a h1 and uh, let's close this really quick. And let's just say that this is uh this is my or we'll just call this my website. Okay, so here's our heading one right here. And I'm gonna go into the CSS. Well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to refresh, and you'll see that by default, text is aligned to the left-hand side of the. Uh, you know the page so uh, inside of the body right here it's actually aligned to the left so if I go ahead and go into my style sheet and you know the deal is just external but you can do whatever you want and I'm going to target my h1 and I am going to put in it's called text hyphen and then you'll see the uh, auto like complete right here a line uh, and this basically <clears throat> There is a. Uh, this is how you're going to, you know, align your text. So, by default, it's left, but you can choose from center. So, we have center here, and if I go ahead and refresh, then it automatically makes it, um, you know, into the center. But this isn't in the center because of the way that I have my browser resized. But if it's full size, then it will actually be move to the center so uh, it'll make the margins on both sides like 50% but I'll get into that when we talk about margins and padding and all that stuff but anyway so we have center left <clears throat> and right and if I go ahead and refresh you'll see that it does align to the right and sorry about the banging there's construction going on but uh, anyway and then there is one more I believe it's called justify and if I refresh I don't know yeah okay so I think what justify does is that you have multiple bits of text and I think it's like a newspaper you know how it's left right but I'm not positive on that so uh, maybe if I check it out and then you guys have any questions then I can go ahead and tell you about how justify works so you can just look it up on your own but anyway so I'm going to go ahead and bring this back to center and then I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to make a p tag I'm going to make a paragraph and I'm just going to say like sample text or something copy that and just paste this a million times so that you can see um, I'll maybe I'll separate it a little bit I'll have it come down like here and about here there we go okay so here's our paragraph so I'm gonna go into here and now I want to indent my text so we already know how to align it to the left right and center but I want to indent my text so uh, you'll see here that uh, if I refresh, here's our paragraph right here, and it's, uh, yeah, here's our paragraph, <clears throat> but it's not indented, it's just, you know, it's one big giant line of text, and that's going to be a little bit annoying, so uh, if I just go ahead into the CSS, and I say text, uh, text dash, and then if you see down here indent text dash indent then the value that I want to put in here is actually a number value and this number value is the amount of pixels that you can 
or that you want to indent your text. So basically how you would want to do that is say I want to indent it 50 pixels to the uh, you know from the edge over here. I'm going to do 50. Now I can't just leave it at 50 because I need to let it know like the unit that I'm using. I'm using pixels. So the way you do that it is px and that's just like short for pixels there. So this lets it know that I am indenting 50 pixels. So if I refresh here is our 50 pixel gap from the left margin of the page. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed this CSS tutorial on how to align your text and also indent. If you did, then leave a like and maybe subscribe. And if you have any questions, then leave them in the comments and I'll answer them for you. And I'll see you guys in the next one.